So it's about 4.30, it's about 4.30 on uh, Wednesday, uh, March 27th, 2024. I'm feeding Rami while I take a video. I've decided to kill two birds at one stone. And you can see about half the sheep are laying down. The rest are grazing. I'm not seeing, there, there's some cut chewing I see. Uh, oops, I'm sorry. Let me step inside, Rami. <clears throat> Ooh, almost fell over. All right, I'm fine now. Rami, there you go. There's your bottle. No, get back. <laughs> so, um, hey, if you if you lick my arm, I can't feed Rami. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, the grass here, like they barely touched it. They've been out here since uh, Tuesday, so it's been a whole day. And I can clearly see the line that they graze on the left, but they haven't grazed on the right. So it looks like um, there's plenty of grass here. There'll be plenty of grass yet. It's probably growing faster than they're eating it, honestly. Um, sheep eat so little. I'm just surprised at how little sheep eat compared to cows. Um, I, I'm sure that's because of their size, but you know, I've seen estimates from uh, six to eight animal units uh, six to eight sheep per animal unit. So for every cow calf pair, I could probably run six to eight sheep with, you know, use with lambs. So, um, would you not bite Rami? Please look at this. He's like, <laughs> what are you doing? Is he like scratching Rami? Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> but, uh, you know, with those kind of numbers, plus the, the sheep, they typically give two births. I think the average is 1.7 is what people typically have when they're in full production. It might be a time before I get 1.7. I might have to do some uh, culling and things like that. But, uh, you know, 1.7 uh, lambs per ewe. And if you really push them, you can get two crops in a year every other year. So you multiply that by 1.5, you get some number, like two and a quarter or something like that. But... Um, that combined with the fact that the price of sheep is really good, I think the cows, the calves are getting about 250 per pound on the hoof, and the sheep can get about five dollars a pound on the hoof, right? So you're getting really good prices for the sheep compared to the cows. So the sheep get twice as much money; they're twice as productive, roughly more or less, and uh, you can run about six to eight times as many of them on the same acreage. Are you all done? I guess he's done. Yeah, he's done. So he drank about a cup and a quarter. Um, anyway, so uh, the economics of sheep just make a lot of sense, you know. So um, another thing somebody pointed out, they said the manure, the sheep manure, it's not like cow manure. It makes like big mountains. It spreads out into little pellets, like rabbit pellets. And they said they like that because it, it absorbs into the soil more easily. And so you don't get these little mountains of, like, see, this is six months old here. Three months, six months old, I don't know. That's a cow patty. But we come um, look for sheep manure, and good luck finding any. Um, in the tall grass, at least. So, yeah, I'm trying to look for some, I don't see any. That's either, I think that's a dog turd, or it could be a sheep having problems. You know. Are you you're getting my lawn for me? Sheep also drink a lot less water, I think, per animal. Um, I think they can go longer without water. They're really creatures that are designed for the desert and dry climates, you know. But sheep don't pee very much. I heard that their urine is more potent because they don't pee a lot of water like cows do. Um, but uh, yeah, you can see that lamb there. When did you get attacked? Oh, that's a, a while back. Uh, yeah, that's Rami's sister, by the way, if you're wondering. It's one of the reasons why I had to get rid of the dogs. So. Oh, is your right hoof not feeling good? Your right front hoof? <laughs> That, I believe, is a purebred St. Croix, a U.
There's another ewe I have that hasn't given birth yet. It's St. Croix, that one right there, I think. Um, and I don't think she will give birth this year, at least not within a couple months. But uh, if she doesn't give birth, she'll have to be off the ranch here. You know, she's over a year old now. So, anyway, that's all I got for you guys. Uh, have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.